Welcome to the Black American Hebrew Unity Discussion. And I'm your host, Black Sheep. And this is a part two, brothers and sisters, of the uh, freelance Bible study that I said that uh, I will have um, while I'm studying um, Hosea. Okay? Uh, and also preparing for the right you know, neutral, right, help, you know, uh, you know what I mean, uh, to help with that. Because, you know, that's a, that's a very powerful book. It's, a, it's, it's the most, most overlooked book, but the most powerful. Because it connects every book in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. All right, so, uh, all right, brothers and sisters, so let's, all right, so let's bow our heads to our Father before we, you know, be edified by his word. Dear Heavenly Father God, we come to you, Father, from New York, your children from New York, all the way to the Bay Area, Father God, to get some adherence to where we stand, Father God, with you. What it is that you trying to get across to a people that's lost, Father God, that has no structure of their own, who's living in a, 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 a parallel universe in this world and as it is written your word father help us father all your lost sheep of Israel to understand what it is father we need to adhere to our culture and our traditions father God in your son Jesus name we pray, Father, help us pull us in from the, the, the poor condition that your children is in because our, in our enemies got their foot on our neck, Father God, with the lending discriminations and with the petty loan and, 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 and handouts, for, you know, through subsidies and food stamps, Father, when we deserve to go in the bank as a regular citizen of the United States of America and get a proper business loan, you know, as the other immigrants is coming over into the country, Father God. So help us, Father, adhere to you. Help us adhere to what we have in you, Father. And that is our culture and our traditions, Father God, because as you say, there's no one coming to help us. It is something we must do. And as Tupac said, one of your children, Father, he said, Negroes from the Bay to all the way to New York needs that here, Father. Malcolm X, another one of your children, before him came and, and, and started an organization called African American Unity. Ain't nobody supporting them, Father. The Black Aggression of Caucus, ain't nobody supporting them. Help me, Father, to use this channel to get through, Father, as you wanted me to do. And now I'm right where you want me, Father. Let it all be your will. In your son, Jesus' name, amen. All right, brothers and sisters, come on in. Come on in, everybody, so you can win. Come on in. Come on in, my enemies and my friends. Come on in. Yeah, come on in, man. You don't like me? Come in. It don't matter, man. Because that's going to be fixed, man. Ain't got nothing against you. Ain't never did nothing to you. you ooh. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I understand, man. So, come on in, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on in, man. enemies and my friends 
Come on in too, so we can get some inheritance about what 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 our Father who are in heaven has has you know embedded in our hearts, brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? All right, so brothers and sisters, we go start in verse seventeen in Jeremiah. Verse 4. Alright, so, alright, brothers and sisters. It says here, as keepers of the field are they against her round about. As keepers, and I read this before, but I'm going to start at 17 because it's significant. Okay, black folk don't got nothing in the United States significant enough where another black man, another black woman that's homeless on United States subsidies can still get help from their own nationality uh, presence, which we don't have. We don't have a black American bank. You know, when Tulsa was set up, how we had everything, all this has been dismantled. I'm just coming to remantle everything back up. And I could just, every time I talk like that, I can hear Joe Biden say, see, he's telling all them people around him, see, look at that, look how he's talking, look at that. And when I talk like that, just go back to the movie Amistad. When when you hear with all my white counterparts here, you know, that subtle, that subtle proliferal way of speaking toward our unity just know it comes from amistad we come over we are we already been over here against our will okay okay john conyers john conyers trying to make it where everybody can win and, and, and dismantle racism okay through hr 40 you see where I'm coming from? Ain't no, none of our white counterparts in the Congress is adhering to that. See, look at George Ford, Ford, the brother who, you know, okay, and God bless his spirits and his family, we mourn with them. But look how long it took in the courts for there to be a guilty verdict. And like the Congress sister saying, it's just some big old weight. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they came over here from them boats, man, okay, from that revolt, from on the boat, when we took over that boat, you see what I'm saying? We took over that boat and they, they had weapons. They had weapons hide, hid out on the boat that we didn't know about. And they got recontrolled back of that boat. When we made it to shore, there was a trial. We was put... You know, we had to go through court. We didn't know this language. But the little from what we were going through in, in, in the contact we was up against in the midst of, you know, our foreign, you know, these foreigners, we learned a couple, you know, few words. So when I'm speaking in that way, that's where I'm coming from. Economically, like Joe Biden said, and you can go and look for my video where I said support Joe Biden's equal opportunity, equal economical opportunity statement. Support that. Because he himself, as who he is, okay, can make such of a statement. Okay? And this is a person we gave $41. million to. Okay? Okay? So treat these statements that they make like gold. Like gold. Because they don't expect nobody out there to catch on to what they saying. But they saying it in a way where they can, you know, can, can, you know disguise the real agenda and a real emotion. So they got to say certain things. You see what I'm saying? And, and not knowing... You know, it's people out here living abundant certain things. You hear where I'm coming from? Just like Mitch McConnell say, he's a descendant of a slave owner. And he says this so proudly as a, a, a Senate majority leader living in a privileged, you know, 
way of living as opposed to the people who he owed to that which he claimed he don't know who to give it to so him being a descendant of a slave owner then us down here should be able to represent and stand up to the plate you know of who we are and where we come from as descendants of slaves or as a descendant of an indigenous having an indigenous, indigenous presence over here it don't matter we all still suffered through slavery as a black-skinned people and we all lived up under this culture up until this today as I'm running my mouth to you. So you come across these videos, it's 21st Century Awakening, it's called, where we can pull these brothers and sisters from these subsidies, you see, and, and, and bring a black economical presence among our white and brown counterparts in this community where there's no black presence. Okay, just a a black caucus where everybody on that DD doing drugs, uh, having, you know, living, uh, 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 you know, living, um, you know, discombobulatedly, financially, you know what I'm saying? Meaning you got those that has work that's, that's working with the system, which we all should be working with the system, true enough. But see, it, but see, there's a friction where, you know, we can't all just do the work, go get jobs for you know go get jobs and so on and so forth and work for other nationalities other companies for the rest of a whole nation's life without being recognized as having a presence in a community uh economically you see what i'm saying so it's a friction in there man it's like i was saying when, I, when they came over and the, and the judge and the judge had asked the lawyer do you know, your defendants have anything to say. You know, the brother as a spokesman stood up in the box and held out his hands that had chains on them and said, we want free. And we still ain't got that free today. And this was a movie made decades ago. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, despite our real true history that it was based on. Like Django, you know what I mean, that movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all them people that, paid, all them black people that played in Django, okay, that did a good job, that did a good job in playing, you know, the characters in this movie. And it hurts me that Mitch McConnell saying that he don't know who to give it to. And he got a black presence in these movies in Hollywood. You got Denzel Washington. You got uh, 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 Chris Tucker, uh, William, uh, 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 Will Smith. Okay, you got all these black folks. Snoop Doggy Dog. Okay, uh, uh, Daz Corrupt, the Dog Pound. You know what I'm saying? Sh uh, 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 Warren G. You know what I mean? Uh, who, who else we got? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, E-40, Snoop Doggy Dog. I already said Snoop, because Snoop really on my mind, because you got uh, uh, Putin playing his music on the piano. Snoop Doggy Dog representing Black America. Putin. So, yeah. So, uh, 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 yeah, E-40, too short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, uh, Scar X. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, everybody from the nation of Islam, everybody from uh, uh, the, the you know the Hebrew Israelites. You see what I'm saying? That after that Black American African American organization, everybody in the in the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. It hurts me. It hurts me. That's all I'm saying. And you got this 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 Senate Majority Leader. We don't know who to give it to. Okay, you got these these coalition, Black American, African Americans. Okay, Master Jay and his brothers and sisters, he was able to get together on learning how to defend the innocent. Okay, I can hear Joe Biden now.
they watching the video. See? See? See how he's talking? He's waking them up. You know what I mean? You know, this is who you owe. This is who you owe, Mitch McConnell. And it's a painful thing for, you know, someone that's up there with that type, with that much intelligence and access to that much technology can talk in such a proliferative, annihilational way. When we playing ball for you, okay? Magic Johnson, Michael Johnson, Michael Jordan, that's who you owe. That's who you owe, regardless, you know, that's who you owe. You see, in HR 40, is saying they might can even get it to where it probably can help the slave, de, you know, descendant, slave master descendants, while narrowing it on down to who in particular. So they saying, you know, it, you know, it ain't going to be no, you know, it's going to be what everybody can eat. Because half of black Americans not only are indigenous people as the Indians, we were already over here. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Then it could have been a, a side of you that came from the boats. But like I said, we all still African American, black American, simple. That needs an economical, significant presence in in the United States of America's communities like 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 um like uh Marcus Garvey was in pursuit to do and I'm hoping that it would have been prosperous and that's what all that's what we're all trying to do you know Marcus uh, Marcus Garvey Tulsa type of thing where black folk can have an establishment you hear Joe Biden See, Mr. Heist talking. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Uh, what, did we send everything to, <clears throat> did we send everything to Ukraine? Yes, sir. We sent uh, uh, 13.6 million over there. Did we send all the appliances? Yeah, did we send, okay. Yeah, you know, get ready because the way he's talking, everybody's about, about to get involved. Hurry up. You know, let's you know, all, if, if 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 Russia do anything, or it's it's World War Three. It's World War Three. If Russia do anything, why is it World War Three? And that's way across over there. Because you probably secretly listening to these videos, hearing the things that I'm saying has to do with, you know, from ground zero, you know, hip hop, everything I'm talking about has to do with. Yeah, huh? That ain't hip hop, man. That's just who we is. That's Hebrew, Hebrew people, man. Yeah, you know I'm talking about. Yeah, understand this, huh? I roll with the five. It ain't been the five, but I'm who ride? That is the question. Suck up me in. That's it. That's Drew down. You know, Drew down. The pimp of the year and all that. Pimps, players, hoes, prostitutes. You know, uh, gangsters. You know what I'm talking about? Cribs, bloods. Black America, African Americans can't escape now. Right? That's who you get to. So come on, brothers and sisters. Matter of fact, <laughs> wait, man. So, all right. I have a video before this one that I'm uploading also. So, yeah, come on. Yeah, because like I say, man, every time I get to talking the way I'm talking, man, people that's that's like like Sophia said that created the movie, um, you know, uh, uh, Matrix. And you know what I mean? People that's so far gone in that white narrative where it ain't no looking back. Then you hear go hear people smacking their lips because they got their little piece of uh, 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 they little piece of America. They got their little piece of you know, the pie. You know what I mean? But they not knowing it's, it's bigger than they piece of the pie. See, so you're going to hear people as they eating their pie. 
when they eating their pie, what you go hear? People smacking their lips. Okay, then you got your pie. Jesus said that he don't come for, you know, that the, uh, uh, that a that, uh, 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 physician don't come for a person that's well. You over there, you eating real nice and fine. You got your pie. Stop worrying about people that don't got a piece of pie. You hear me? This is what's been going on through the centuries, man. This is called those who have and those who do not have. And when I'm trying to make it to where it's, you know, trying to do what everybody else is doing and trying to close that gap. Well, everybody can see the light of this planet, man. And not just under false narratives where, like Tupac say, you know, you know, we're scapegoats, you know, for a lot of capitalistic things that's taking place in the community. You know what I mean? You go back and watch one of my videos, you know, where I got the content under, re under you know, review on uh, how we as black Americans is, is fighting stereotypical views. You know, where our brown and counterparts even coming over here, you know, having a, 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 a you know, ideology and a curriculum way of thinking about us already. You know what I mean? Yeah. See us as, you know, Diablo. Go look that up. And I ain't gonna tell you what it mean. But go look that up. And see, and to come back and tell me, we'll write the name down in the comments. Let me see if we can get a full of those names up. If you can write it in English, I'm going to tell it to you in Spanish, but you write it in English. Let me get, let me see if I get a line of those, English, those names in there. Yeah, Diablo, man. When the Bible itself said death comes on a pale horse, a pale one. This is not pale. How could this be Diablo? You see what I'm saying? Because if the black man is Diablo in the United States of America, if you look through history and through the Emancipation Proclamation, that means Diablo is old mucho. Diablo is old todo. Understand this. And if you don't believe me, only thing you got to do is go online and look up B, look up CBC. Okay, Congressional Black Caucus Foundation and follow HR 40 and you will see black folk of United States. And that's where this go and see listen to Giovanni. See, listen, this is how he's talking. Yeah. You see, yeah, listen to how he's talking, man. I'm trying to do what everybody else do, connecting the dots so we can spin our web and start living before we won't be a uh, cannon fodder for, for for this that's trying to be proliferated. We ain't got nothing to, okay, maybe United States do, because they a state within they self. And all I'm asking is for the United States, you know, you got us in the United, you got us in the army, got us killing each other. Is this what it is? You know, got us killing each other. You know, probably seeing somebody try to put a bullet in my head after a while. But at least it'd be for my father and not these scary ass Negroes. It's it'd be for my father, a higher man. That's who I'm doing this for. It ain't for nobody in the world. He has things that he wants people to adhere to and go and run with their own. I'm just a vehicle he's using for you to come and get information and run with it and build for him. Not for me, not for you, because you doing it for who? Okay, then, that's what I'm doing this for. My father in the edification for all his children and lost sheep of Israel. We have a, we have a culture. Baby, baby! You know! We have a culture that we just letting slip. Say, slipping away, slipping away. Huh? Okay? Tradition that could bring that can build economy. Yeah, soul food restaurant. Soul food. Soul food. Okay, 
You know what soul food is. And a lot of us brothers and sisters uh, talking down even on our own traditional uh, uh, foods. And they trying to tell us, oh, soul food is chitlins and, and this and that. Soul food, man, okay, what did they eat at Thanksgiving? What did they eat at Thanksgiving? Okay, yeah, I'm talking about what did the Indians eat with, with, the, with the musketeer, I mean with the uh, muskets. What did they eat? They ate turkey, didn't they? Huh? Okay, listen to me. Didn't they eat that 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 stuffing? Huh? They did, huh? They ate that cranberry salt, didn't they? That corn on the cob, huh? They did. They ate that cabbage, didn't they? They ate those green. They had that table filled up, huh? What else did they have on that table? Corn, cornbread, sweet cornbread, potato pie, pumpkin pie. They did. They had everything on there, huh? And didn't prepare nothing. Didn't cook nothing. You understand? Indians didn't even know how to cook. They just hunted. They hunted, okay? And had a stick and put that put that stick through that animal and and build a fire under there and did that there, okay? Okay? We are the Moors, man. That's what I'm saying. And every look at Joe Biden. See, oh, he's see, he's touching, he's touching royalty statements now. Yeah, man, we have it in our blood, man. We have it in our blood, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See, Thanksgiving, we prepared black folk prepared that food for the soldiers. Prepared that food for the Indians. Prepared that food for the electric, elected officials, uh, like like you know in uh you know the Senate and Congress seats to come and have a Thanksgiving, you know with the Indians about the settlements of this land. Black folk, we cook that food, and throughout the century we've been cooking, cooking, cooking our soul food. Thanksgiving food. Thank you. So. So, 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 uh, uh, Americans Thanksgiving is Black Americans Thanksgiving. I'm gonna find a way to say it. Americans, uh, uh, soul food is Americans Thanksgiving. Yeah, y'all can have it. Any Black American come to the show, you can have that run with it. And I'll say it again soul food is Americans Thanksgiving. And start setting up, set setting up. It's Thanksgiving. We that's what black folk been doing. It's serving you our Thanksgiving food. And the only thing you got in the communities is 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 is, is, is burrito trucks, and Asian and Asian trucks. Where's the soul food trucks? You see, the Asian food could be eat for breakfast. Okay, all right, you got vice versa. Okay, and then that burritos and tacos, that could be, we could eat that for lunch. See, okay, where's the, the dinner? Huh? Where's the, the, the biscuits, gravy, smashed potatoes, stuffing, you know, chicken, you know, corn on the cob, greens. You see what I'm saying? That's dinner, food. Asians making they 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 money through the Asian food in the trucks that we just that you can go to a video and see you know uh you know what I went through you know <laughs> okay uh okay and then the bur our brown brothers and sisters with they burrito trucks where is the the dinner soul food black soul food Thanksgiving okay so. Anybody, any brothers and sisters that, that does this, any brothers and sisters that does this, then that's what the label would be. Soul food is Americans Thanksgiving. That's all. And I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna end this video on this and I'm gonna come back with the Bible brothers and sisters because. You know, yeah, because it's all edification. It's all content. 
So we on Jeremiah chapter 4, we're going to start at 17 on the next video. But at least we was able to come up with something in this video. You know what I mean? So that's what it is, man. You know, that's what it is. See, black Americans, man, we need it in, in, in presence in the United States from of, of America, from New York to the bank. You know what I mean? That's what we need, man, into the communities. You know what I'm saying? Just like Rick Ross, the rapper, said. You know what I'm saying? You know how we flipping keys? Let's, let's start flipping restaurants. You know what I mean? It's time to feed our people down here, man, on ground zero with everybody feeling. He said, well, nigga, how, you know, how can we get involved? You can get involved by supporting, you know, CBCF, Congressional Black Caucus Foundation up there rubbing shoulders with the president, rubbing shoulders with the congressional members, you know, like Mitch McConnell. So let's help these brothers and sisters help people like Mitch McConnell know who to give it to and let's help these brothers and sisters up there like Cory Booker and, and and Sheila Jackson Lee and you know what I'm saying brothers and sisters these brothers and sisters and, and getting arrested okay okay for for peaceful protesting and think Sheila Jackson Lee they that this lady old enough to be me and your me and you mother okay our auntie they got our sister, man, our sister in, 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 okay? And she's a Congress member. You see what I'm saying? We can't take that out, right? Because you ain't going to never see Mitch McConnell in no handcuffs, right? Stop playing with me. What we want, free. Okay? Yeah. And, and like I say, that recognition statement by the United States of America that we all again through H.R. 40, if we can only just support John Conyers, CBCF, and the reparations task force, because they, they took reparations off the board federally. They dismissed it. And they got all these black Americans in this community, man. How can we fight back?